How bad was the reaction to Marilyn Monroe's white dress lift? On the corner of New York's Lexington Ave and 52nd Street, an hour after midnight on September 15, 1954, Marilyn Monroe stood atop a subway grate wearing a little white dress and fought an upward breeze. Intended to be a scene for Billy Wilder's film The Seven Year Itch, the spectacle took around three hours to film and 14 takes to get right. While 100 male photographers and between 2,000 and 5,000 spectators, who all loudly reacted whenever the actress's skirt blew up, looked on. Despite the roar of approval from her fans, Marilyn's husband, Joe DiMaggio, was less than pleased with what he felt was an exhibitionist scene. Photographer George S. Zimbel recalled everything going deathly quiet as Joe stormed across the set and very publicly left the scene. After returning to California, Marilyn filed for divorce from the baseball player on grounds of mental cruelty, following a violent fight at their hotel after the shoot. 